Sean Patterson here for Vessi Seeds. We're joined today again by Glenn Holmes, Vessi's bulb manager. Now Glenn, bees and bats are a very hot topic these days. We'd like to attract them to our home gardens and our properties, but how do we do that? So the beauty of your garden and the flowers will so on will just naturally attract them, but what you want to do is have them have a comfortable surrounding so that they stay a while. So this bee pollen house and this bat shelter are great ways for bats and for bees to come and stay a while. And when they stay a while, they, um, they encourage pollination and then they encourage your flowers to produce more blooms. Excellent. And a, and a product like these are rarely inexpensive and seem to be able to go up fairly quickly, non-destructive to your property. Yeah, and I'm not a handyman, so if, <laughs> I, if I can put these somewhere, uh, with a little bit of work, then uh, most any person could put them up and enjoy them. Well, that's good news for me. Um, so now we know that we can attract them. We've got a place for them to stay. Now, why would we want them on a property? Well, for, for bees, for example, for as I mentioned, for pollinators, I mean, that, that incur when they go from one flower to the others, gathering nectar, they're also encouraging pollination as well. And the pollination is really what encourages your flowers to produce more blooms. Um, uh, but for bats, for example, I mean, we look at them and think, oh, they're kind of ugly. Why would we want them to stay around? But um, in addition to being great pollinators, bats also uh, love to eat insects. They also like to eat us, but not the bats, but the insects. As That's you know, true. nothing can ruin a day in the garden than being pounded by mosquitoes or mm -hmm. black flies. But if you can create a belt, bat shelter where bats will stay a while, a bat can consume like almost its, its entire weight in an evening with wow. like about 100 an hour. So, if, if a bat can stay around and you can make a comfortable home and they will reduce your insect mosquito population, it just makes gardening that much more enjoyable. Excellent. So we've got a couple really easy and inexpensive ways to attract bees and bats to your properties, to uh, increase your yield and also to keep pests away. So thanks for joining us again today, Glenn, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.